Welcome back. There's been a lot of talk about the booming real estate market here in Colorado. Recent reports show home prices in Colorado are up more than 12% in the past year. However, as 9 News anchor Corey Rose tells us, you have to look further into the numbers to get to the real truth on your specific location. We have seen several reports out lately on Colorado's housing market, but experts say there are a few things that you need to keep in mind. You really need to dig deeper. Our realtor Wade Perry is joining us now. What are the few things that we need to know about these numbers? First, good morning, Corey. And all real estate is local. And, and more importantly, we're going to see numbers that come out that say, hey, Denver's up this much or Colorado's up this much. It's really, really critical that you, the viewer, dig a little bit deeper and not just take that number at surface value. The first thing you have to consider is what are the inputs? Are they just using a particular city? Are they referring to a general area like Denver, but really encompassing a lot of other areas around it? Are they actually referring to the entire state? Is it a certain time period? There are a lot of inputs that go into each one of these studies, and you may get conflicting numbers based on those inputs. So it's important for people to peel back the onion a little bit right. and not just hang on the headline number. One such number we see here on this map of the United States. So what are the numbers that we're looking at here? Well, Corey, right here we are looking at a year-over-year -year percentage change in price. So mm -hmm. the average sale price of a home in Colorado is up 12.7%. Nevada, 12.4%. Arizona, 83 And you'll see these different numbers all over the map. Many of these states have reached the peak of where they were before the Great Recession. There are other states, take for instance Pennsylvania at uh -huh. only 2.6, Maine at 1.8, that are still in recovery mode and they got a long ways to go. We need to keep in mind when we look at a 12.7 in Colorado, that is the average of all of the home sales in the state and not necessarily just in Denver or in another area around. So we have to pay very close attention that we're doing very well relative to the country. Right. But when somebody sees this number, they have to be careful and not think, oh, my house must be up 12. Right. And when we see a report like we saw last week that Denver real estate is up 17, that does not mean that yours is up 17. So what we should probably do is look at different areas to make sure that the viewer understands exactly what their house is up. Right, so let's look at the numbers because every area is a little bit different. Denver's different than Aurora and so, so on and so forth. For example, Corey, we're up 12.7 throughout the entire state, and there's a report showing that Denver is up 17 to 18, and that is indeed accurate, but Denver by itself is a little tiny speck with all these other cities around it. For example, Arapahoe County is only up 4.7%. Mm -hmm. Boulder County up a whopping 28% wow. in the last year. Douglas County up only 47 but if you go down south to Colorado Springs, they're actually negative 1%. So all real estate is local. You've got to really get an expert that knows your area before you can hang your hat on these numbers. Got to take it all into account. There's also another report that says Denver is in a housing bubble. We are going to debunk that next time in our realty segment. We have all this information on 9news.com.